Hey guys, I'm here today with one of the best students I know at Mats. You can introduce yourself. Hey guys, I'm Amar Kunst. I'm Dutch and Japanese. I'm a Math AHL student and this is IB Survival Guide Math AHL. Let's start from the very beginning. What is Math AHL? Math AHL is one of four math courses in the IB. It's in the AA strand, which stands for Analysis and Approaches. And it's a math course that focuses on developing your analytical thinking when it comes to math. So it's ideal for students who are going to pursue technical degrees like engineering or physics and that type of degrees. And why did you take math AHL? In the years before DP, I always thought I was quite good at math and therefore I wanted to take the most challenging math course provided by the DP program just to see how good I was truly at math and challenge myself the most. And to me it was presented that math AHL was the hardest math subject However, it is quite debated whether AIHL or AAHL is harder. So you chose Math AIHL because you thought it was going to be the most challenging math course? Yeah, definitely. And based on your Math AIHL experience, what is your favorite part about it? Um, I like how it's extremely difficult and extremely fast paced. I feel like just already a year and a half alone in Math AIHL has increased my math skills so much compared to any other year in school and I really like the challenge. And once again, based on your math AHL experience, what do you feel is the largest limitation of the subject? I think the largest limitation of math AHL is that math questions in the IB are asked very specifically. So you can be quite good at answering IB style questions, but that does not mean you're good at math as a whole. So despite the fact that you might be succeeding in math AHL, if you come across math problems in another curriculum, they can be still very challenging. So you feel it is very focused on the IB program and you wish you could be extrapolated to math as a whole rather than just for the IB program? Yeah, definitely. What do you consider was your largest struggle in your math AHL journey and what did you do to overcome it? For me, I think the biggest struggle in math AHL is simply the time pressure you are having in tests. One mark is equivalent to roughly a minute, I think, on the tests. So you have very little time per question and you have to answer questions accurately and just, I mean, super fast. And to overcome this, I practice a bunch of past paper questions and time myself for each question just to know that I'm answering each question within the given time. Okay, so if you had to start your math AHL journey from zero, what are some tips you would give to your younger self? Um, yeah, just for some context, these tips are from my experience as a student, but I also do provide subject support for math at school. So these tips are also from that experience supporting other students. So my first tip would be that if you cover a new formula or rule in class, always spend a few minutes after class through YouTube videos or just trying to understand the rule so that you know exactly why that mathematical rule is true. Because AHL is a very fast paced course, you're told many rules in class that the teacher can't explain and you're just told to know. Now over the course of two years, you're gonna have many of these rules. And in addition to five other subjects that you're gonna have to study for for the final exams, there's gonna be a lot of content that you have to memorize. So it's gonna be very difficult to memorize all these mathematical rules. I'll give you an example of a mathematical rule that comes across very early in the Math AHL course. So imagine a quadratic equation as we see on this page, denoted by ax squared plus bx plus c. We are told that the axis of symmetry for this equation is minus b over 2a. Now we can either take this rule as true and just have to memorize it for the final exam, or we can spend a few minutes to try and understand why it's true, so that when it comes across an exam, you can logically figure it out instead of having to memorize it. So if you take a few minutes and just look at the formula booklet or watch a YouTube video, you'll see that the x-intercepts of any quadratic equation is denoted by this formula. Minus b over 2a plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this means that these red dots that I'm gonna draw now is denoted by this formula. So this red dot that I'm circling is gonna be the positive version of this formula because it's a higher value on the x-axis. And this point that I'm circling is gonna be the minus of this formula because it's on a lower um, part of the x-axis. So <clears throat> if we assign values to this formula, we'll see why the minus b over 2a is the axis of symmetry. So imagine minus b over 2a is, let's say, 1, right? 
and this part of the formula is 3. Now this coordinate here is going to be 1 plus 3, which is 4, and this coordinate here is going to be 1 minus 3, which is minus 2. So if we're taking the value 1 and adding 3 to get to this x coordinate, and if we're taking the value 1 and going minus 3 to get to this coordinate, intuitively, the value 1, which we're adding or subtracting to, is going to be the axis of symmetry. Of course, this may seem very easy to memorize, but this is one of countless rules that you're going to come across in Math AHL. Now, if you just spend a few minutes trying to understand all of these rules, you're going to have no rules to memorize for the test. And as a benefit, you also just become better at math because you understand the concepts far better. My second tip I found helpful for Math AHL would be that anytime you try a question before judging its difficulty, always try to write something. Many times in my support sessions, I have students come up to me and ask, how do I start a question when they haven't tried to start the question themselves? This can be due to two factors. One, they are unconfident in their math ability, so they don't try anything because they fear it's gonna be wrong, or they simply lack the knowledge for that specific question. However, most cases, this isn't the case. The student often does have the math knowledge, but just doesn't know how to apply it to that question. So always try something, even if it feels wrong. Even just writing the first step, it will definitely give you insight for how to progress the question. And even in the scenario that that is a wrong method, you're gonna get more method marks in the test rather than leaving the question blank. And also through learning what is wrong, you're gonna learn what is right. This third tip addresses a confidence issue I mentioned in the previous tip, and it would be to try and not look at the mark scheme for as long as possible when practicing math. So confidence is very important, especially in math AHL, because of the short time you have for each question. So you wanna be sure that everything you are writing is correct so you don't waste time doubting your answers. Now the habit that I have is to try every single possible method I can think of before checking the mark scheme. Initially, this is gonna take really long. You're gonna to have to spend 20 to 30 minutes, maybe even an hour for those hard questions, just thinking of every possible way to answer a question. But after, through time of having this habit, you're gonna get better at critical thinking and finding new methods to get the answer to the problem. And this is very beneficial for the final exam, especially because all the questions are new questions that you've never encountered. I feel like those three tips help me the most in Math AHL, but just as a bonus tip, my fourth tip would be to study with friends when you can. I think that really helped me to succeed in Math AHL. Studying with friends always opens your eyes to new possible methods to problems and also is a good motivator to study and just do well in math. And finally, what are some resources that have been useful to you that you would recommend to others? To be honest, I don't feel many resources are necessary to succeed in IB Math AHL. Personally, I only use three resources every time I have a test. One of them being Revision Village. Although this resource is quite expensive, it's a great question bank to practice math. There's questions labeled by difficulty, easy, medium, very difficult. It covers every single concept that we have to know for the final exam. Another resource I find very helpful is past papers. There's many websites where you can find past IB tests, especially for math. And these questions are very good because they show you how IB questions are framed and they're also very challenging. However, students not always find it easy to learn on their own, so these question mark platforms are simply not enough. If you're a student who needs a professional, flexible, and tailored just for you online tutor experience, listen to what I have to say about Sindus Academy, who are really kindly sponsoring this video. Sindus Academy has been helping students worldwide for over seven years now through their online tailored lessons. The best part, the Academy tutors are all IB alumni, so they know exactly what you're going through. But what is absolutely unique is that Sindhu, the head of the academy, is available to answer any doubts from 8.30 a.m. till 10.30 p.m. And if you are a parent and want to keep track of your child's progress, you can do so through the dedicated WhatsApp group. They are now offering tailored, invigilated, and personally graded mock exams each Saturday and Sunday. And if you use code ANGEL, you can get a 10% discount. Make sure to check that out in the description below and make your math AHL journey a successful one. Now, any more resources, Elmer? Yeah, so for me, the last resource that I use would be YouTube videos. I learn quite well through YouTube videos, so I recommend it as a resource. Every time I don't understand a concept covered in class, I simply just search the problem in the search bar of YouTube, and there's countless of videos that explains that mathematical concept. There's no specific YouTube channel. Just in general, YouTube is a great resource. So you guys, that's the end of the video. 
Once again, thanks a lot to Alma for coming. Any final thoughts? No, thank you very much for having me here. And I hope this is very helpful for any students who are thinking of taking Math AHL or even in Math AHL right now. See you on the next one.